hello everyone and welcome back to the channel in this video let's go ahead and take a look at artlist.io so what is it about and you know how to get started with it now the first thing that we need to do is if you haven't already signed up or created an account then just go right on ahead and do so so there is a sign up button on the home page and then just go ahead and create an account using your email or signing in with your google or apple account now, once that you're logged in, you'll land into the main music library page, which is this one right here. And then in the home page, this usually showcases all of the most commonly downloaded items in here. But just looking over on the left hand side, these are the different items that you can go ahead and browse by category. So we have AI images and video. We have AI voiceover. We have music, footage, sound effects, templates, lots tools and these are all you know for you to uh, go ahead and download once that of course you have a subscription with you now let's go ahead and take a look at the music section first where it's going to be the format is going to be very similar to each individual ones these are just categorized to their own different items but you should be able to see something like this where you have a list of all of the different tracks that you want to download or listen to if you want to go ahead and listen you can go ahead and do so by pressing play and there is this specific highlight section right here which is basically the most common parts of the music that everyone uses right there and if you want to go ahead and filter things out you can go ahead and do so so you can filter by genre right here filter by mood filter by video theme any instruments in here as well you can also go ahead and sort this by ie you know the, the top downloads right now or any uh, of the newest albums or music right there but if you want or if you're looking for something a little more more specific then you can also go ahead and use the search bar right here at the top where you can go ahead and filter by tempo song length vocal or instruments which makes it a lot more easier to find the perfect track for your video or your footages now if we take a look at the footage section it is almost the same as you can see right here but a part of it instead of being a soundtrack it's all just videos in here so if you have specific video themes that you're looking for any shot types right here or you know now uh, adding in the variety of people that you want as well you can go ahead and do so and the same goes for sound effects right here for um templates as well so there's multiple uh, different templates that you can use and the different lots as well so it's all pretty straightforward when it comes to looking for things it's all about you know playing uh, with things around and then using all of these filters for you to find that specific item or tool that you are looking for now a new few things in here with artlist.io we have the ai side where we can also go ahead and create um, text to image or image to image items in here we can go ahead and generate free ones for here if depending on the account that we have so as you can see here we can go ahead and generate up to five free images or one video all we need to do is to go ahead and create uh, a text in here or describe what it is that you're looking for so say for example um i want a uh a drawing of a dog who is uh staring um at an ice cream cone or something like that and in here there are a few options that you can go ahead and do so there is multi-purpose right here so what kind of style you want it to be right here so it could be you know modern anime it could be macro lens or you know something like a comic noir or, or any of these so i'm just going to add in multi-purpose because i wanted to generate multiple ones you can go ahead and choose the different size types so if you want it to be portrait or a square or a landscape you can go ahead and do so and also you can go ahead and choose the number of images right here 
Now, once that you're happy, we can go ahead and create a generate for free right here. And it will go ahead and generate the image for us. It will go ahead and understand what you know you are requesting here as a picture. And as you can see, it has gone down to just four images left for us. But this uses AI to go ahead and create that specific thing that you are looking for right there. Now, if you want to go ahead and uh, change a few things, you can go ahead and do so. Or you can, you know, reuse. There's a lot of options in here. If you are happy with this, you can go ahead and straight to download this if you want. Or if you want to animate it, you can go ahead and do so as well. I'm just going to go and click on animate in here. And what will happen is it will go ahead and use this as your prompt uh, entry in here from image and then it will be directly to video right here. And of course, this is the suggested prompt that it has gone ahead and do. And then again, you have a, a couple of uh, extra options in here as well. So let's just go ahead and animate this for free using our token right here. And it will go ahead and animate this for us. And there you go. So this is what it would look like as the, you know, we've created a video, as you can see, uh, there's a few movements right here. And I think that's actually pretty cool. And again, you know, once that you have subscribed, you can go ahead and add in a few more. So again, the toggle is here, where if you want to go from text to image, image to image, or if you want to go from text to video or image to video, you can go ahead and do so. Now onto the AI voiceover, it is almost the same as well, where, you know, you have the option to take a look at all the different voice catalogs that we have right here. So you have the chance to go ahead and listen to all of the different voiceovers right there. And then once that you are happy with it, you can use that to create your text to voice right here. So you can just input in your uh, text and then it will create the voice itself using whatever model that you are they are using right there and then once that you have generated something of course it will be shown right here in the voiceovers same thing goes for the uh, ai and image uh, and video right here where you can have all of the different styles right here now one thing to note is once that you have downloaded or you are happy to you know to use any of the footages whether it's ai or any you know music or sound effects then once that you know you have selected those you can go ahead and click on the download icon on each of them usually you know you, you should be able to see like the download button uh say for example this one right here you can see this download and what will happen is artlist.io will automatically apply a license to the track so that you can use it in your videos now with that the file will be downloaded to your computer as high quality WAV or mp3 or um, it could be you know the different types of videos that you have and then you should be able to see all of those in the downloads section right here all of the things that you have um, browsed whether it song or um, uh, SFX, any clips, templates, voiceovers, everything that you have downloaded should be um, shown here. And then you can go ahead and use this to re-download the tracks, manage any of your collections, and also access your licensed documents at any time. Now, once that you're happy to use artlist.io, don't forget to go ahead and, you know, go into your um, settings and take a look at all of the pricing details for you to go ahead and start using artlist.io for your own personal use. And there you go. I hope that you have found this video helpful. See you guys next time.